first workout kind of vlog, I guess, so to say. Um, I don't know. I don't do nothing crazy. Let me just change the weights real quick. Start with some arm day. Um, I usually start with biceps first. I'm gonna start with triceps on this one. Um, I don't know. I was watching in a Sam Solik video. You do biceps, you know, you got that super big pump. I'm not saying I have a big pump, but I don't know. So he was saying kind of acts as a buffer and you don't get the full range of motion. So I'll give it a try. So start with some tricep pull downs. Ooh. Now, I usually like to do like a warm up set, sixteen ish, twelve. But I've been trying to go to failure. I saw that uh, working out to failure kind of helps your muscles grow a little bit. Give it a shot. Um, one thing about me, I'm all natural. I'm not taking anything, so might not be as fucking jacked or anything, but. I don't know. Works for me. Go to failure. I think I have about 25 reps on that one. But uh, how are you guys liking the podcast? Like, what else can I do on, like, if you like these workout videos, let me know. Um, might, might do them in the gym, see how the confidence goes. But um, I don't know. I got two, two views going on. One, this main one, it's off of my iPhone. So we'll see how that footage looks. If not, you might get a weird GoPro angle, but I don't know. Kind of, kind of fun to mess around with. But all right, it's kind of weird. Like I, like you don't think it is. Like you see people, like big people talking just to the camera by themselves, or like solo podcast. That shit's tough. Like it's a lot harder. Than you think like i i used to see and be like oh that would be easy it's pretty hard it's like everything you just think of but you just say it i don't know but got some bucks up in the shaker bottle today got the mother bucker mixed with some creatine i don't know if it's better to put creatine or drink creatine before or after your workout but mine's tasteless and i've just been mixing it with the pre-workout so i can't really notice it but i don't know and i know there's some people out there say like you need to take so much time in between set i don't really i just go once i start feeling a little better I like to keep my heart rate up. It's probably not the best thing. I'm sure, scientifically speaking, you're supposed to wait or whatever and get a better set based on whatever. But I don't know. You know? Get the last set and then we'll move on to some rope pull down. So we'll see. I might just throw one set of that in there. It's not all super repetitive.
I've been working out for about, you know, like 13 years. Decently consistent. Nothing, nothing crazy. Obviously, my diet's not that, not that great. So I don't look chiseled as a fucking Greek god or anything. But I don't know. It's something fun to do. I want to get a home gym, you know, work out with my son. But that's something that I thought was super cool. I've always been able to do with him. But we'll get this this set in real quick. I don't know. Where do you guys like to work out? Um, I've been going to Vasa all the time. Been thinking about switching it up. I went to that Salt Flats gym in Twilla. Fucking amazing. Really clean, really new. Um, a lot of space too. The owners are super cool. Talked to two of the owners there. Um, but. It's a little pricey for me right now. Maybe if you, YouTube starts paying me a little bit, then then we could hit it up, see see what's up. But so for now, Vasa, they got a not a Vasa, but that Salt Flats has got a super cool sauna. I want to try. It's like that red light therapy I've been hearing all about. But check it out. Hit another. Another set. I don't know if it's right, but I don't like to come all the way up, so I keep that tension on the arms. When you come up, you lose a little tension. And I don't know, I feel like you're putting some body weight into it. That's right, I don't know. Don't really, don't really care. But I do the bro split. I'm sure there's other splits or whatever out there that's better. I just like to hit arms, triceps, biceps. And that covers arm day pretty much. I just like to hit one, one section a day. Nothing crazy. One thing I will say about working out in like a garage or I worked out in this gym in Hawaii and uh, had big garage doors. It was like a warehouse. I thought that's the coolest thing because like you could just look outside and see like cars or I don't know, feel more connected to nature rather than like being stuffed up in a gym. I thought that was pretty cool. That's probably one of my favorite reasons for working out in a place like this. Hopefully that audio wasn't going through that headphone the whole time. I'm going through my mic. We'll see. Hopefully the mic picks up good audio from where it's at. First time for everything, right? Some cable kind of pull back splits. I don't even know if you can see me. Kind of start working that bicep. Like I said, don't know how well you're gonna see me. But like, 
starting this thing out pretty cool. It's kind of like I related to going to the gym for the first day. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Start a machine and completely doing it the wrong way. And uh, you'll figure it out slowly or have someone show you. But with this whole YouTube thing, I'm just, I'm just going out there. May as well. And I feel like if you put in those reps, it'll get better. And I don't know. Maybe something great could come of it. You get better, improve every day. But on these, it's activating the bicep a little bit. And uh, it's kind of like the opposite of the pull downs. Come up, lit. Not those other way. Now I'll usually go into a tricep like superset with some like nose crushers, stuff like that. I don't really know, but it seems to work pretty good. No, I like to do like an isolated uh, tricep. I don't even like cross face, I guess. Laying down. And on the way up, just flex that tricep. Got some 35s loaded up. <sighs> I'm feeling better. On these, I like just to do three sets of 12. Sometimes I usually end the workout with this, but since we're trying tries first, start this and then go into the bicep part of thing. I know the dumbbell looks small, but it's a 30. Woo, that's pretty hard. With what pre-workout you guys take, let me know how it feels. That mother bucker, the high stem, gets that, has that high beta alanine, beta alanine, beta alanine, whatever. Gets me feeling itchy. Gets the pump going a little bit, though. Feels good. Let's get this last set. Oh. On this last one, I'm just gonna go to 
trying to go to 16 reps or failure. Let's see how that goes. Got 12. Oh. <laughs> if you think this looks stupid, try it. It's hard. It's tough. Oh, it's 60. Shits and giggles, we ended that one at 670. I'm gonna finish this up with some concentrate. Light 50. say my first one more to, more to come but been watching some Sam Sullet lately and uh, kind of inspired me to make something like this hopefully I'll get a workout that maybe you don't do you want to try that's always the best way to do it but until next time